Hello and welcome to Mock Productions. You are here with me, Matthew, and we are back here at Firestorm Games. And we are on pre-release number five, round number two. It's me versus Tim Sang. So, basically, uh, <laughs> this is really lucky because our previous uh, competitor, Mike, uh, he had a Rowlet mat. Now it's Decidui versus Decidui, however, he is an actual champion. He hasn't just bought the Matt Wood champion on it, he is a champion. So I'm pretty scared. I am pretty scared, but I'm excited to see if we can pull off a victory. Um, <laughs> it's going to be very, very interesting. Now he warned me that he's got a bit of a, I would say, a troll deck. Because it really is. But uh, we'll definitely just have to wait and see here. As to what we are versus, it's, uh, it's interesting, believe me. From memory, it's very interesting. It's only happened two days from me recording this, so uh, yeah, it's uh, interesting. You're going to enjoy it. You're really going to enjoy this. So, we're just waiting for Ian to give us the old thumbs up, and then we're off and we're ready to go. He's starting with a Heracross, and we've got a Pikachu, but we've got Carnivore in our hands straight away. He's timer balling for something, maybe. Yes. So you got one thing. One evolution. So you can see through his whole deck now. Look at all that energy and trainers. Wow. Insane stuff. So he's bringing out the Vile Plume, which is obviously going to stop. Uh, oh, and also Great Ball as well at the same time. For an Oddish, of course. No uh, rare candy in this set, so we can't evolve, so that's fine. We're all good. We got our Pikachu. We're happy. We're good. So, seeing as he was going first, he can't attack us, but he has an energy. Now, I believe he has to... It, the ability on Heracross is pretty interesting. Even if I get a knockout, like if I was to attack him and knock him out, he won't be knock out, uh, knocked out. He'd have to roll, and if he got a... I think it was a heads or tails, one of the one, um, whichever one it was, I think it was if he had a tails, then it would be... He would actually stay alive with 10 health, and you'd ha that's how you'd have to kill him. So now he's got. Wow! <laughs> oh my gosh, that was quick. What the heck? This is why they call him a champion. That is in very, very interesting. Now, uh, the his other move I was even going to get round to is pitch, and basically it's 50 damage, and you have to switch out with a be with uh, a bench Pokemon. Now, because I didn't have one, plus he played Kakui on top, that was 70. That was enough to get rid of Pikachu, knock us, knocking us out on the first round. Very, very interesting indeed. So, with that, have we got any chance here of actually taking him down with such a, an awesome overpowered deck there? Now, I know he's got two Heracrosses because we saw them as he was going through that. He's also got a Vileplume line, but I think that was it. I think that's literally the only thing he's got. He's played something there. Might this doesn't look like it was an oddish. Could have been the Heracross again. But did we get a Ralts? We might have. We don't have the Gardevoir two hand, but we do have a Ralts. Okay, and we've also got the Crow Gunk. He's then playing Heracross. He's going to time a ball as well to try and get some evolutions here for his oddish. He got nothing. Oh no, he did. He got one. So you see the gloom of Isle Plume, that's the only ones he's probably gonna go for. There it is. <laughs> I think at that point I was asking him about the mat, because I, I love that mat. I really like the mats that actually have like the pack arts on them. Um they're they're really awesome. And especially when it's got the word champion on it. Oh it's lovely. Lovely, lovely. So, uh he's howling for three as well. So he's got his vile plume. He's got the full vile plume thing there, ready to go and set up. We've also got a secondary Ralts. Do we have a Curlia? No, but we have a Nest Ball for a basic. And there's also a Lily. Are we going to get Pikachu out? Mob Effect comes out. Okay, fair enough. Because you can't do anything else from that. Nest Ball over to the side. Can we attach maybe an energy? Maybe a pff, fairy energy? It's all. Ooh, what are you going to do there? Weakness policy. No rats in this bench. 
or deck. Uh, Lily in for a few cards. There's a Toxicroak there, which we can evolve to. We got a Raichu as well. We don't have the Pikachu though. Evolve, evolve it to the Toxicroak, please. <laughs> to the wild effect. Do you want to evolve? No, you don't. Okay, you're moving it over. Fair enough. So he's going to use his pitch for 50, which is going to switch. He's going to put 50 on that, and then I have to switch out to one of my bench. Yeah, you can't avoid the 50. Come on. <laughs> put the 50 on there. So Ralts comes up. Uh, fortunately, Ralts will not get knocked out with the 50 on top of it. So that's uh, that's ideal. Now we have a oh we have the Olivia Trader there. We could play that to get the GX. Uh, it looks as if we are. Hopefully it's not prized because otherwise we're in the poop. Mm, there it is. Nice. Since that's the only GX, we can only pull out that one. But she normally would allow you to pull out two. So it's not a bad uh, not a bad one, especially if you do have. GX is in your deck. And we did. So we have a fairy energy to go on to what exactly? Are we going to place something down? No, Toxicro gets a bit of fairy energy. We can't evolve the Ralts at all to a Curly. A Vile Plume is now up. Pitch is probably going to happen. So another 50 going on there. Pretty devastating, actually, because it really does weaken uh, some of your Pokemon here. Now, the good thing is that if I put Wobbuffet up, it would take three hits of the 50, but it would also start destroying everything else on the bench, so there is that. Throw that, throw that Gardevoir. Why not? Toxicroak, evolve it. E nice. Okay, good. And it's got one energy on it, so in case we need to, we want to do a little bit of damage there. There's a Lily in hand, and I'm letting him carry on, and he's going to pitch again for 50. Switching out to the Wobbuffet now. Gives me more time. There's a Pikachu right there. So now this is good, because next turn we'll be able to play um, Raichu, which will paralyze Heracross. There is a Fairy Energy going on to that Ralts. Now this is dangerous here, because he can keep pitching and just destroy us like you can just keep saying pitch 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 because he can keep switching back and forth back and forth there's no stopping him his vile plume is set up to do 60 and either asleep or confuse us and he's pitching again so whichever one goes up which is going to be the pikachu could possibly get that uh, damage done to it but we all know what, what we've got in our hand Pikachu has gone. Oh, we've got a How as well for three more. We need to play that as well. So the Raichu comes up, which paralyzes uh, Heracross. How comes in for another three. So we got a Stuffle, which we can place down. Uh, the Krogunk we can't, but we can get the Wobbuffet ready to go. If we can get that ready to go. Then we're good. We've paralysed him, so he can't come back until I've had my next turn. Or until at the end of his turn. He can't really place down anything. Um, another energy on there. He can retreat that if he wanted to. But he's not going to. Now it's uh, um, unparalysed. I've got a timer ball lair, which would be good to try and get that curlier. I uh, saw a three, but it still looks like we can go through it. Look at this curlier. If it's prized, we're, we're... Oh, we're in trouble if it's prized. Okay, but where? Oh. Okay, so it must have been prized. Must have been prized. Okay, so it takes three energies to power up Raichu, but two of them have to be lightning. Mm, do you really want to do that? You know you're going to have to pitch next turn. You don't have a psychic energy for the Wobbuffet, because if we could do the Wobbuffet, I'm pretty sure we could knock out that Heracross. Because I think the retreats it only two, but that's 100, and it's got 110 health. 
Well, that I remember. Another lightning energy going on at Ralts, we all know why. Because if we can get that Gardevoir going, then we're good. A retreat is coming in for the Heracross here, bringing up the Vile Plume here. Here's the energies and everything. Another energy going on to the Heracross there. It's very easy, this deck, because you can Vile Plume. There is 60, and I'm also asleep. Uh, roll to wake up, which I do. So that's fine. There's an escape rope there, so we can bring out the Heracross, and then if we can at all draw. Oh, we got nothing to do it. Oh, that's annoying. Another energy going on the routes. Escape roping for that Heracross. And then, am I bringing another Wobbuffet? Yes, I am. Hoping that we can get... Oh, hold on. There is actually three energies on there. I didn't see that. So we can do the 100. Oh, okay. Pretty sweet. We can do the 100 to him. So he's only got one health now. He's going to retreat that out again, bring in the Vile Plume, which isn't going to be able to get rid of us, but will either put us asleep or confuse us, I think. Or is it paralysed? 64 asleep. Yeah, put it asleep. Then i got to roll to wake up. Which I do. We've got dumbbells coming up there, which could be good to put on the Raichu. Could be good to put on Beware as well, as soon as we've evolved that. Um, this is annoying, because we can actually take down that Vile Plume, actually, because I think the retreat cost is four. So we know we can take that down, and hopefully, in the prized, we can pull out the Curlier, because if we can, we can get the gar uh, Gardevoir. So this is interesting. Because he can knock out the Wobbuffet. Okay, so he's we've put the dumbbells on there. He can carry on doing pitching because he could take out the Ralts, both of them. The Raichu, I think, would survive. The Wobbuffet wouldn't. We're not going to attack and get rid of him. Probably because we know... Okay, there's the KO there for that. Is Beware going to go up? Beware is going to go up. Okay. So we could attach another fairy energy. And I think it does so it does something. It does something pretty good. I think it's 30 and it does a special condition like confused or something. Or not. I think I'm just uh moving it over because we can do our 60 we can do 60 to us but not knock us out. We're not. We just keep waking up. So mix up, flip, flip a coin if heads discard. Ah, I see. So I'm trying to get that 120 um, going with three energies. He's only got one prize card left or two. So it confuses me. But I put 120 on that. So both of them are really weak. And he can can hit us for KO here. So it's KO over... No, it's not KO because of the... Ah, ha, ha! So it's not KO, but he's taken me out of confusion and I'm now asleep instead. But I have to roll and I'm up. So I can do that 120 again and knock out that Vile Plume and possibly get a Curlia Ooh, this is this is interesting. Very, very risky indeed. We're powering up that Ralts. We're gonna do the 120 for a knockout. We need the curlier. It's not a curlier. Oh really? Uh we need to be confused. What's it why am I not why am I not confused? Okay, so that's pitch for that. We haven't got anything. Oh, we haven't got anything ready. This is annoying. Ralts goes up here. Why would I do that? Oh my gosh. This is not good. Oh! Did, did I? 
So basically, because I was going to knock him out if I attacked him, uh, he's rolled. Now he's going to do 50 for a pitch, but it doesn't... So he's still got one prize card. As much as you can't see it, he's got one prize card left here. I need a little bit of damage. If I can, if I can get a 10, I can get some damage done and win the game. And I've done so. I've oh my gosh. Oh, that was close. Oh my gosh, that is such a good deck though on uh, Tim's part. Oh my gosh, that's absolutely insane. Bearing in mind though, he's only got the Vile Plume and Heracross, and that's it. That's the only Pokemon he's running. So two Heracrosses and two amounts of Vile Plume, and that is it. The rest are trainers and energies. That is insane. Absolutely insane. That amount of Pokemon, and he's doing really, really well with it. It's, and it, like I said, or like he said to me, it is a very, very troll deck. That's exactly what it is. That was super, super close. Oh my gosh, you couldn't have cut that finer. Because if I couldn't have got that, he would have won. He would have won it. Wow. That's like bre breathing a, a relief sigh of silence and... Oh boy, 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 boy. <coughs> okay, so he's got a basic. Have I got a basic? I do indeed, and I've got a Ralts. I'm probably going to put the Krogan up first and Ralts to the back. I don't think I had the Coolia. Hopefully we don't prize a Gardevoir, because I can't see it in my hand. And uh, we've got a Krogunk and the Ralts. We have a lot of Fairy Energies. He's put Mount, uh, Mount Lanakiller up, I think. I think that's Mount Lanakiller. So basically, that puts one more Retreat cost on my Pokemon. So it's not really ideal. He's got an Escape Rope in hand as well. So he can Escape Rope for the Ralts if he wanted to try and get something gone from that. Wild Effect coming out from the Great Ball. Which is pretty good, especially if his Vile Plume comes into play. I can just, you know, get that done. Boom, it's gone. Did, who, who knocked my camera? What the heck is going on? <laughs> uh, did we get anything there? Yes, we did. Don't know how many, though. We need the Curlier and we need the Gardevoir. Curlier. Curlier, Gardevoir. Which one? Put the Curlier out. Okay, you give me Gardevoir. Okay, fair enough. Mm-hmm. So now it's just luck. We know the Curlia is not prized. We need to keep that Ralts alive, though. So if we attach that, we can do 10 damage. And that's all we can do at the moment. Now, has he got anything to evolve? He's got another... Oh, he's got a Gloom. Okay, fair enough. And he's probably going to attach an Energy. Yep. So now he can do Razor Leaf for 30. And we got the stuff all to hand, so that can go on the bench. Uh, we can't attach another energy. There's a beware in hand as well, I think. We can only do 10 again. We can only do 10. No, that doesn't work. Tim is straight on it. He's on, he's on point. He's absolutely on point. Good man. Good man, good man, good man. Hopefully it didn't get a Vile Plume. Oh, okay, don't get a Vile Plume. Okay, no Vile Plume. Whew. Good, 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 good. Okay, so that is a knockout on that Krogunk there. Stuff all coming up now. We know we got Beware in hand. We've also got that Weakness Policy as well. It's weak to fighting. He doesn't have any fighting, though. We can... Could put an Energy on there, but then again, is there any point? Start getting the Ralts powered up. There it is. Nice. Okay, so we can't do anything, but we got some nice help there for 30. Unless he can get a Vile Plume, uh, all he's going to be doing is 30 each time. And that's literally it, 30 each time. How for three? Got to be a Curlia. Nest Ball, Lightning, Toxicroak. Okay, so we can Nest Ball for a Krogunk, or maybe a Pikachu, but we can't Nest Ball for a Curlia. Krogunk? Probably a Krogunk. Yeah, there we go. So Krogunk is out and about. Okay, so 
what is going to happen now. And the lightning energy in hand, I think. Go and put it on the routes. That's it. You know you want to. So he's going to... Oh, okay, he's going to howl. We don't need a howl. Oh, he's got the Vile Plume. Okay, so he can do 60. He can do 60. Oh, this is not good. This is not good news. Another Vile Plume. Oh, no, no, hold on. He's, um... Pokey Thunder Mode. <clears throat> we're all good. We're all good. Okay, that goes in there. Shuffles his deck. Fair enough. Attack me for 60 and then roll for something, but apart from he's going to escape rope. Okay, he's going to escape rope. I need to pick. So ideally, not a Ralts, because he can knock that out. Uh, the Wobbuffet wouldn't get knocked out. And it is confused. Okay. There's the Curlia we need. Okay, so we can evolve to Curlia. Here we go. So, even if he knocks that one out next turn, we, we know we're going to get a Gardevoir. However, we haven't got enough energy on our side, but look how much energy is stacked on that Vile Plume. We're in good hands here. Okay, so he, he can get some... There's another Vile Plume there. No Oddish to hand, though, that's the thing. So he's obviously trying to get ready to get another Vile Plume going, but he hasn't got an Oddish on his bench just yet. So he's got that Vile Plume with just 20 damage on it. Our Wobbuffet's going to get knocked out if he does attack. What are we going to do? Go another Lightning Energy. So we need him to knock out the Wobbuffet. So that's our defense at the moment, because now we can start building up Gardevoir's uh, attack here and really get some damage going. Okay, so he's got four on his, I've got three. That is enough to actually knock him out. Because he's got 12, I've got 9, so that's 21. That's enough to knock out a Vile Plume. So if we were to possibly get an Escape Rope, then we could swap out for his Heracross, then get the... And there's another one going on there. That's 4 and 4 each side now. 240. Here we go. This is interesting. So we're Lillying for a few more cards here. Now, I believe at this point, my deck was looking extremely low. And I mean, like, three cards. So this is bad. This is very, very bad indeed. Another energy being attached to the Gardevoir there. And he's just drawing for turn now. He knows, he, he knows right now that I'm in a very, very tricky situation here because I have no way in which I've, I've got to put the energies on him to retreat him to get the guard, uh, Gardevoir, but I have no way. Is he going to try and retreat that? He is going to retreat that. Now, I think at this point I said about this, but it's me. It's only me. It's not him. He, he knows. He knows what's going on here. He knows what's going to happen. I need to get the Boba Fett out and get those two kills on those two on the bench. Anything else, and I don't think I'll be able to do it, but it's going to be tricky. It's going to be very, very tricky indeed. How are we going to do this? <laughs> Tapping the table of an energy. Right, okay, that's fine. Another energy on there, and that's his turn. Oh, look how many cards. There's barely any there. I can't put Pikachu down with the Raichu. He's going to draw... And that's his turn. Oh, come on, please. I need the escape rope. There's the escape rope. Here we go. Escape rope coming into play. Vile plume coming up. This is interesting. The vile plume is up. And now we have something interesting. We have the wob effect coming out. And he would come out of confusion as well. There's the three energies. Uh, five energy, sorry, can't count. Uh, I think that he, um, the Vile Plume had three. That's one heck of a lot of damage. That is definitely a KO on the Vile Plume there. We know the Heracross is going to come up for a pitch here. He can't get anything out. Okay, so he's got the Oddish to the bench, and he's got another Heracross. Okay, so there is final Pokemon now that we've got to take out. 
He's going to pitch. Now, if we can get... If, if we can get a energy on that wild buffet, we can do 100 damage to that Heracross. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, there's dumbbells there, which aren't really useful except for the wear. Uh, we can't put Pikachu down. We've got a weakness policy there as well, which I'm placing on there for some reason. Dumbbells are going on there as well. I think I'm using that up so I can play my Lily. And I really do not have a lot of energy there. I really... Uh, cards in my uh, deck. That is insanely stupid. <coughs> We're, we're both actually running quite low on cards. So either one of us could deck out. So basically, if he attacks me, God, uh, Gardevoir is going to knock him out. That's basically it. If he attacks me and gives me a knockout, unless I put another one on and Mount Lana Killer comes up, all I gotta do is attach it to retreat him to bring in Gardevoir, and this might be uh, something pretty interesting, here we go. So because of Mount Lana Killer, instead of it being 3, it's 4, so I'm retreating Wobbuffet for Gardevoir, uh, oh my gosh, Gardevoir. Now, do you know what a GX ability is? You draw four cards from your dis uh, 10 cards from your discard pile and put them right into your deck, which means I have 10 additional moves on top of, I think, about 2. You can't see my hand because it's off screen, but I think at this point there was about 2, maybe just the 1 card left. But look at Tim's side as well. His deck is looking very, very low. Very low. So we've got a nice healthy, healthier deck now with maybe about 12 more turns in it. How many are... Oh, so he's drawn that, and it looks as if he's only got two more cards. He's escape roping. Okay, this is interesting. So he's going to try and get some KOs going here. Um, if he brings in the Gloom, he can do 30, and we're going to bring in the Boofland. Okay, fair enough. <clears throat> Basically, we want him to KO us. But if we stall him, we can't play anything there. So are we not going to bother? We can't do a Pikachu. There's no point howling because we're just going to be wasting our cards. We've got all the cards we need. We've set up guard, uh, guard of all. Another energy going on there just in case. And then that's that turn. If that is just one card left, he has got to finish this game with it. Oh my gosh. This is insane. Oh my gosh. An energy going on there. That is his last card. He has to do something here. Cocooing for two, which he can't do anything. It's draw for turn. And we're going to pass. And that's it. Oh my gosh. We did it. We beat a champion. Wow. Very, very interesting there. Um, that that Gardevoir is awesome. It really, really is. Guys, if, if you do get a Gardevoir, check it out because it is a really, really good card. Possibly worth making a deck around it. It would be insane. But apart from that, massive thanks to Tim for that match. That was absolutely amazing. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, but yeah, we've got one more match left and that's it for the pre-releases, but I will see you guys in the next video on the channel.